It's somewhere here. Tokyo Banana Karaoke. So for the big one, it has quite a lot of meat. This is the only shop that is allowed to sell Ghibli Studio character pastry. Usually when we reach a country, we will try to look for McDonald's and see what is the difference in the menu compared to Singapore. Seems like Japan has a lot of items that is not available in Singapore. We got a pudding pie, bacon potato pie, shaka shaka chicken, chicken rice burger with yuzu radish sauce. This is the main reason why we come to McDonald's for dinner. Taste test. Mm, it is good. The rice is not so dense, but I really like the chicken. They season it with some salt, and it tastes really different from the mac chicken that we usually eat, even though it looks the same. The yuzu sauce brings up a refreshing taste. Other than the yuzu sauce, I think they added the sesame sauce as well. So add another layer of flavor to this rice burger. Mm. Next up, bacon potato pie. It has a very strong, smoky taste. Just imagine mashed potato in a smoothie taste. It's exactly the taste of this pie. I prefer apple pie than this. Lastly, is the pudding pie. I hope it's not so sweet. Usually, pudding in Japan is very, very sweet. It is very, very sweet. It is too sweet for my liking. Today is our first full day in Tokyo and we are not in Tokyo. We actually set a bus all the way here to Fuji Five Lakes and in front of us is Lake Kawaguchi Ko. And it's a bit sad that Mount Fuji is hidden behind the clouds currently. And so as we want to see Mount Fuji, we ended up buying a Mount Fuji cookie. So it's somewhere here, yeah. We will be staying here for the night, so hopefully we are able to see Mount Fuji in the morning. And now on to the taste test of this Fujiyama cookie. And it's a pretty famous shop selling Mount Fuji-like cookies. They have a lot of flavours and some of them have this snow cap on top. So we bought the green tea with white chocolate one. 180 yen per piece is a little bit pricey, but let's see whether it tastes good or not. Just a normal butter cookie in matcha flavour topped with white chocolate coating. But it's still very cute. If you didn't get to see Mount Fuji, you'll get to see this at least. So Kawaguchiko Lake is the most touristy area here at Fuji Five Lakes. And you can see that the street is filled with a lot of restaurants and souvenir shops. So yeah, we will check out Lake Kawaguchiko and we'll see you when we get there. And today is our second day here in Tokyo and behind us is the iconic red brick building of the Tokyo Station. So Fuji Fire Lakes was a little bit disappointing because we didn't get to see Mount Fuji. There's various ways to get to Fuji Five Lakes. The cheapest and probably most convenient way is by taking a express bus. So there's various bus companies operating buses to and fro Fuji Five Lakes. You can actually book tickets to the bus online. The cost is about 2,100 to 2,200 yen. There's various area in Tokyo where you can actually board the bus. If you are planning a day trip before heading to Mount Fuji, if you can, check out their live web camera to see if Mount Fuji is being obscured by clouds or not. But for us, because we have already booked our accommodation, we can't really change the date and it's actually quite 
sad because most of the activities around the Fuji Five Lakes involve being able to see Mount Fuji. So if you visit Lake Kawaguchiko, you probably would want Mount Fuji to be at the backdrop. As if you visit the iconic pagoda around the area, you also would like Mount Fuji to be at the backdrop. So yeah, it's pretty important to check the live web camera if you are planning a day trip and you can afford to head there on a different day. There are so many things in the Tokyo Underground Street and the first item we bought is the Tokyo Banana Karaoke. The staff actually heat up for us and I think it will taste better after heating it up. So, taste test. I think it has nothing to do with Tokyo Banana. I couldn't taste any banana from this karaoke. It's a fried donut with the red bean paste. Even though it's totally not what I expect, but it's pretty good too. It is supposed to have a banana feeling, but I think we haven't reached there yet. Or at least I couldn't taste the banana paste. We are now having another must-eat when you are in Japan. It's the freshly made Kaubi potato chip. Before we eat it, the glove is very cute. It's built specifically for a potato chip. It only covers two of your fingers, which you will use when you are eating potato chips. Taste that. It is more of like a french fries, but it may give you a feeling that it is the potato chips. The exterior is crispy. The interior is very soft, very nice. We are now at a restaurant in Tokyo Station and it's called Toyama Shiro Ebite. Its specialty is actually grass stream noodle that can only be caught in Toyama Bay and you can eat it here at Tokyo Station. The blood stream is very sweet and it's very crunchy. There's not a lot of meat to it, so it's more about the crunchiness of the skin of the shrimp. And it's very well fried, yeah, very sweet and tasty. So if you come during the weekday from 11 to 3, they have a special set and they are slightly cheaper than normal day prices. And this, I've ordered, have a good mixture of blood shrimp, oyster. I think these are all assorted vegetables. Not sure what. Oh, they even have squid. So it's pretty worth it. This is only 1,250 yen. Compared to normal prices, it's about 1,980 yen. So come during the weekdays from 11 to 3 p.m. It's actually pretty worth it and pretty good. They also sell other don as well. They have the sashimi don, which Bonnie has ordered. It's also a weekday special and it's about 980 yen. Also very affordable. We are back again, so after a lot of shopping at Shibuya as well as a visit to the iconic Shibuya crossing and Hachiko, we are here for our dinner. So we are currently at Shimo Kitazawa and we just had dinner at a restaurant called Stabler and they sell beef sandwiches. We have ordered their specialty which is the Shimo Kitazawa meat sandwich and also the hot chili meat sandwich. I think the difference between the big and the small version of it is the amount of meat they stuff within the sandwich. So for the big one, it has quite a lot of meat. They are mostly medium rare, slightly tender. Some parts of it is a bit tough, but overall, I prefer the hot chili one because of the spiciness. I prefer the Shimo Kitazawa beef sandwich because there is a stronger beef flavor in that sandwich. So if you're around the area, you can check them out. The sandwich actually makes very nice Instagram pictures. It's like 300 gram of beef in between two slices of bread. So it's like huge amount of beef pieces in the sando. And next up, we'll be heading to a dessert place. Hopefully, they still have a stock for what we are about to buy. We will see you when we get there. A very cute dessert house.
We are now at the Shiro Hige Cream Puff Factory. We are here because this is the only shop that is allowed to sell Ghibli Studio character pastry because the owner of this shop is the sister-in-law of the co-owner of Ghibli Studio. And we are here for the cream puff, but it's already sold out. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you on our next video. Bye-bye. We ate a whole cheesecake.